today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing on our uh, just our movement detox series. We've been talking this week about how the, this time of year is really crazy for everyone, but especially for the MS or because a lot of things can kind of kind of go wrong or throw you off track or, or, or move you into a weird place, both physically, emotionally, all that kind of stuff uh, because of the disturbances going on in your nervous system. So let's get rocking and rolling. So let's get rocking and rolling. We're going to start with uh, lower leg. All right. So if you have an aerobic step like this, that's cool. This is about a four inch step. Uh, you can do this same jam with a one inch or two inch binder book. Uh, brick, like <laughs> whatever it is. I've had people use like bricks before. They've used all kinds of stuff. It's kind of funny. So we are going to do a movement. We're going to do a, a, a calf release first, and then we're going to do an ankle mobility exercise. So first thing I want you to do is put the balls of your feet. Abs are going to be in. I want you just to step forward, and I just want you to lift your chest. Okay. So as you step this leg forward, you're going to feel a stretch in your calf, and I want you to try to not hyperextend this knee. So I want you to stay in a posterior pelvic tilt. So still squeeze your tush as you lean forward. That will prevent the hyperextension in your leg. Okay. So we're going to hold that. And this is just basically a, a, a nice solid, just kind of chilled out gastroc stretch. So step off of it for a sec. And then we're going to come back on. Okay. So we just kind of step forward. And if you need to use the wall to kind of get that foot up there, do it again, tip your pelvis, pull your abs in and then come out of it, okay? If you need that wall, that's cool. Step forward and we're gonna hold that. So you do three rounds of 10 seconds, okay? Because the calf gets really tight. It's a fast twitch muscle fiber, so it causes a lot of propulsion. So for it to just kind of chill out and let it just be like, ah, oh, it likes that, okay? So we don't wanna go real quick on the calf. And relax, okay? All right, now we're gonna stay on that same leg. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep that foot in the same position. You're gonna actually step this foot back a little bit. Abs are gonna be in, tip your pelvis. Now what I want you to do is just, I want you to lean into your foot. So you're gonna bend this front knee, keeping this butt tight so it keeps your pelvis tilted back. Uh, try not to, again, hyperextend, try to tip your pelvis a little bit and you're gonna come and bend into that leg. So that's one. So you should be feeling this down the back of your leg into the Achilles tendon. Two, three, and that's two. So I usually do about five of these, holding between about five to eight seconds. Three, two, three, four, five, good. And go, these are awesome exercises to do before you go walking, before you have a big day out. These are in the free foot drop guides that we have, managing our mobility exercises to manage foot drop. So if you do go to exercisewithms.com and you uh, look up the managing foot drop guide, it's free. So these exercises are in there. They're on a PDF that you can download so that you have them with you at all times, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and switch sides. So into your calf stretch. So use that wall, kind of hop that foot forward tip the pelvis and just kind of lean, okay? This back heel may come off the ground a little bit. That's totally cool. Just keep your glutes squeezed and your abs in so you prevent that hyperextension of the knee. So rocking and rolling, bopping and strolling. Oh yeah. I like to sing when I stretch my calves. Come out and step forward. Good. I like to sing when I stretch my calves. All right. So you're right there. You're going to hold that for about 10 seconds and come out and step forward. Boom. Good and relax. All right. Now step back and then we're going to do five lean in. So lean forward and then bend that knee. Now this one is going to be really tight. So I would recommend starting with like an inch high block, maybe two inches. If you're just doing this, this is four inches, um, a four inch step. And this is even challenging for some of my clients that come in here with foot drops. So we start really low. I actually give them a smaller platform. Okay. And relax and go. So feel that calf stretch. I'm not that, I'm sorry, not the calf, the Achilles, the soleus. And so I like to do with the postural muscles, like the soleus, uh, the muscle that attaches to your <coughs> Achilles tendon is a lot more of a postural muscle. So I like to do more dynamic stretching with those because their job is to hold you all day. So it's good to add some in and out mobility in there as well and relax. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So <coughs> what we're going to do, we're going to do some standing stuff. 
Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch hamstrings. Now, I'm going to put this block in front of me. So by putting a wall next to you and then putting some kind of implement here or balance aid in this, it's going to help you a lot, okay? So the very first thing I want you to do, we're going to stretch your hamstrings now, okay? So I want a soft knee bend, okay? Um, and uh, we're going to go straight down and put both hands on that step. So walk your feet up to that step or that chair. If you need help, you can go ahead and put your hand on the wall like this, but you're just going to keep those knees bent and you're just going to come down, put one hand on your chair, put the other hand on your chair, and you're going to keep your back nice and flat. So you're pushing your butt back, still keep your knees slightly bent. Don't go into hyperextension, but try and straighten them as much as you can. Sit back into your glutes. So you don't want to be up here. You actually want to sit back. So you have this step to hold on to. The wall's right here to help you up, but we're going to just hold that stretch, okay? I want you to hold your abs, those hamstrings to relax, okay? So if you need to, put your hand on the wall, kind of stand back up, and then we're going to come back down into that stretch and just hold. So about two stretches of these for about 15 to 30 seconds is really good, okay? Two to three. So maybe we'll do three today. So we're going to hold this for about 10 seconds. Again, you can see my knee is slightly bent. I have a soft knee bend and I'm leaning back into my, uh, into my hamstrings. I'm not all, all body weight in my arms. Okay. Go ahead and stand back up and then come back down and just hold that. So this is really good for stretching the calves, stretching the hamstrings, stretching the uh, structures of the low back, and it helps you get into posterior pelvic tilt. So you're just going to keep those knees bent. Put those hands down, abs are in, try and sit back in those hips a little bit, and we're gonna stand up, okay? All right, and relax, okay? Good. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pelvic tilt, a pelvic tilt stretch. So we're gonna have your inside leg forward, okay? You're gonna have your, your outside leg back. <laughs> We've done this in a pelvic tilt. We did the Michael Jacksons last week. This is the same kind of deal, but I really want you to feel the stretch. So we're going to be doing a pelvic tilt, but I want you to really try to feel the stretch in that hip. So you're going to put your arm on the wall, get those feet decently spread apart. I want you to lean into the front leg. You're going to feel that, that back maybe arch a little bit. I want your abs are in. I want you to Michael Jackson. So pelvic tilt, and then I want you just to lean into that front leg. So it's a pelvic tilt, squeeze this butt and then just keep leaning into that front leg as your pelvic tilted, and you should feel that stretch right through here. So that's what we're gonna hold that for five seconds. Two, three, come back out of it, okay? So abs are in, pelvic tilt, squeeze that butt and lean. Two, three right here, four, five, and back, good. Pelvic tilt, abs in, squeeze that butt and lean. Three, two, three, four, five, come back out, pelvic tilt, abs in, squeeze that tush and lean, four, two, three, four, five, and come back, pelvic tilt, abs in, and lean, find that stretch, you guys, find that stretch, find that pelvic tilt, the more you tilt, the more the stretch is going to be in there, two, three, four, and five, good, okay, so let's switch, I'm not, I'm not going to completely move this because I got to go back to it. So just, you know what you're doing here. So back this way. Okay. So that arm is right here. Pelvic tilt. So you can see my hips. So pelvic tilt, butt squeeze, abs in, and you just lean forward. One, two, right here. Three, four, five, and come back. Pelvic tilt, squeeze that butt, abs in, and lean. Two, three, four, five, and come back. Pelvic tilt, abs in, squeeze that butt and lean. Three, two, three, four, five. Back, tip the pelvis, squeeze the butt, abs in and lean. Four, two, three, four, five. Come back, tip the pelvis, abs in, butt squeeze and lean. Five, two, three, four, and five. Good. Focus right there and step forward. All right, you guys, good job. All right, so let's go back. We're going to go back to this step. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a side lunge stretch. Okay. So I want your, I want one foot lined up on this step. So this is your left foot. So you're going to have that lined up with a chair or something along those lines. This left or this right foot is over here. What you're going to do 
is you're going to lean, so this leg is going to bend, this leg is going to stay straight, this hand is going to come across and touch the chair. So this leg bends, this is straight, we're trying to stretch this adductor. So our hands are out, if you need balance, put your hand on the wall, you're going to lean down here and try to, and try to just straighten that leg, so you're going to push your butt back towards the wall, sit back, and you want to feel that stretch through here, okay? So if you need to put both hands on here, that's fine. If you want one on the wall, that's cool too, whatever you need. So that's one, and then I want you to come back up. We're gonna do five of these. So this leg bends, this leg straight. Come down, put your hand there, sit back into the wall. Two, three, four, coming back up, and come back down, sit. If your hand's on the wall, do it. And this is good, this rotation up here is good because it actually works on mobilization through the mid-back, which we need. And come back up, this leg bends, this leg straight, and back down, so you're getting kind of a multitasker here. So make sure those abs are in, feel that stretch through this adductor down here, and then you're kind of reaching up with your hand. And come back up, and then come back down. And make sure this platform is high enough, you guys. Like this is, I don't know, it's probably a foot or so for me. Um, if you need to be up here and a lot higher and that gets you a stretch, cool, right? So just go for a higher step, okay? All right, so step to the other side. Line your right foot up with the, with the chair, wide feet, okay? This, leg, this knee bends and this butt goes back towards the wall. This one goes straight, okay? So kind of sit into it and we lean, okay? And my butt goes back towards the wall and I'm leaning back this way, two, three, four, and come back up. Feel that stretch here. And down. You can put a fist down, you can put a hand down, whatever you want. Three, four, and back up. And come back down. Abs are in. Just hold that. Two, three, four, and up. Two more. And down. Two, three, four, and up. And back down, two, three, four, good, and come up. Nice job, you guys. Okay, cool. So that stretches out that groin. All right, so now we're gonna stretch out the TFL, the tensor fascia lata. Now this is a weird move to see from the side, so I'm gonna show you from the front and then we'll go to the wall. Put one foot forward, then the back foot crosses behind you, your abs are in, your pelvis is tilted, you're gonna to lean to the side and you're gonna reach and you're just gonna stretch out this whole area through here. These muscles get super duper tight with MS because of this knee kiss thing and also this gait swing like this, everything's TFL because everything rotates to the inside because you're swinging your leg to the outside but then it's rotated in. This TFL gets super duper 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 overactive so it's super important to get this loose, all right? So what you're gonna do is this arm is gonna be on the wall your inside leg is going to be forward, so you're going to kind of lean into your forearm on the wall, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the outside leg, put it behind your inside leg, right? Tip that pelvis so you're not hyperextending the knee, and then you're going to push your hip away from the wall, okay? So push your hip away from the wall. So I'm actually pushing my hip toward you, and then you're going to reach up and over. So you're going to lean in, reach up and over, okay? Keep that pelvis tilted abs are in, kind of a little gentle booty squeeze here, and you should feel that right through this hip, right through here, okay? So this is a really good one. And then I want you to come out of it, and then we lean back in again, okay? So lean into the front leg, abs are in, butt squeeze, and we come up. And then we come out of it, and then we lean. Two, three, four, five, and then we come out of it, and then we lean. Two, three, four, five. And then we come out of it, and then we lean. Two, three, four, and five. Good job, you guys. All right, so let's go the other side. So turn around. Inside foot forward, outside foot is back. Lean, or really get into the wall, okay? Now take this outside leg, Move it to the inside as best you can. Push your, excuse me, push your hips towards you. And then we lean. Two, three, four, oh, five. See, I feel that right there, it's good. And we lean. 
two, three, four, five. Good. And then we lean. Two, three, four, five. Good. Come out of it. Just, just come back to center. And then we lean. Two, three, four, five. Good. Last one. And then we lean. Two, three, four, and five. Good job, you guys. All right, cool. So your hips should feel pretty good right now. We stretch the front, we stretch the side, we stretch the inner, we stretch the back, we stretch the calf, we stretch the Achilles. And now I want to go, I want to go two upper body ones, okay? So what I want you to do is we're going to do kind of a rotation, okay, towards this wall and just hold it. So I want one foot forward and one foot back. You to lean forward into this leg, squeeze that butt, abs are in, and you're just going to turn and, and put both hands on the wall and stretch out that mid back. Okay, so you're going to be here, and we're just going to turn and just lean, just kind of use that wall to kind of find that rotation. Two, three, four, and come back out, lean into that front leg, and twist. Two, three, four, five. Good, back and twist two three four five and back and twist four two three four five good and twist two three four and five good let's switch sides okay so inside foot is forward Outside foot is staggered. So again, but just by being in this position, we're already stretching here. And then when we actually twist this way, you actually get stretching down in this direction as well. Okay. So lean into that front leg and we twist two, three. I'm tighter on that side. Four and five. I got to work on this one and twist two, three, four, five. Make sure your abs are in the whole time. You don't want to twist your spine. If you can only get to right here, that's totally cool. However far you can get where you don't feel it in your low back, that's how far you go, okay? So if you've had a back fusion, if you've had a back injury, take this one really easy. If you have sciatica, stuff like that, it's just maybe you just twist, maybe you just twist where you put your hand on the inside of your leg and that's enough for you. Now you should be able to rotate with any kind of back injury. It's good to do, but you do it very, 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 very gentle in small ranges of motion. That's four. And last one, and what this also does is it actually stretches this leg it's tw it stretches what's called your spiral line going down into your ankle. Good, and relax. All right, cool. And then the last one that I wanna do is we're gonna do a, a arm walk up and hold, okay? So we're gonna be in a plank position like this, okay? Uh, let me make sure my mic is doing well. Okay, so we're in a plank position like this, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna walk your hands up. So you're gonna tighten your butt, boop, boop. Tip your pelvis, boop, boop. Pull those abs in, boop and shoulder blades down. Ooh. And then all I want you to do is just walk your hands up and just hold that, okay? So hold your abs in, hold your butt, squeeze. You're just gonna hold that for a second. Now this is a little bit of a strength exercise too, but it's a good stretch. And walk your hands back down and just chill for a sec. I want your heels to stay flat on the ground on this one, okay? So butt tight, gut tight. Walk your hands up and just get to the place where you feel that stretch in your lats. And keep your arms shoulder width. Three, four, five, walking that back down, and up, two, three, four, five, coming back down, two more, walking that up, butt tight, gut tight, two, three, four, five, back down, and back up, two, three, four and five good and relax all right you guys good work all right so we're done that was good stuff so lots of stretching lots of good stuff in there we basically went from head to toe all right or from toe to head okay so we got the ankles loose we got the quads and everything else loose in here so that's going to loosen up the knees we got the hamstring stretch out we stretched tfl we stretch adductor uh we stretch rectus femoris we stretched uh, rotators this way and we stretch stretched what's called front flexors this way which is basically your lats and kind of this front anterior portion of your body as well okay so when you combine those with what we did on Tuesday yesterday and today 
That's a really good flow. Those are going to take you a long time if you do all three of them together. So these are kind of just uh, five separate flow kind of detox uh, sessions that we're doing that you can kind of add to your daily repertoire.